Hello again, everybody. My name is Zenokila of Tai, here with another thrilling game of StarCraft. This game takes place between yours truly, Zenokila, and my fellow clanmate, Volov. Now, Volov wanted to play a little bit of a different style of StarCraft. Basically, what he wanted to do is he wanted to go Zealot only. So the only unit he was going to produce, besides, of course, probes for the entire game, was the Zealots. And basically, I could produce any unit I wanted to, except for air, of course, since Zealots can't fire up. That also con included Colossi. So the only thing he could produce were Zealots, and then I could sort of make whatever I wanted to. So we'll throw the names up there, and we'll take a look at this game. Uh, Protoss opening, pretty standard. He goes through a pylon on 9, I throw my pylon down just a little bit later, etc. Volo's gonna scout, I'm gonna scout. I mean, it's not such a big deal, obviously. He's gonna go gateway, probably two gateways, five gateways, who knows. Of course, charge lot and upgrade. So, I'm not really sure, I wasn't really sure what the counter to a uh, pure zealot is. Some cannons, some stalkers, and probably some zealots of my own. Of course, he's attacking my pylon just to be annoying. I mean, that five damage would probably take him half the entire game to take him down, but... Can't have that, so I'm like, get off my lawn! Chase him out of the way. I throw down my poxy pylon here in Tasteless, the commentator's secret hidden hallway. I believe that's what it's called. We're both pretty equal on our gateways. He takes a gas a little bit earlier than I do. I usually try to take my gas on 15. Of course, I'm busy chasing him away. You won't die! Die, you probe! Anyway, so there's that. Huh, I guess I skipped gas for the first. Yeah, because I was going forge first to protect against a zealot rush. I'm sorry, forge second to put up some cannons to protect against the zealot rush. He, of course, went standard Protoss opening, gateway cybernetics core, so I can switch to Twilight Council to get that upgrade. Because zealots without charge, not so effective. 300 zealots with charge, super effective. So I'm going to throw down my second gateway, still haven't taken a gas yet, trying to get his probe out. Ooh, almost caught him. So I'm the cybernetics core, getting second gateway. Chrono boosting out the warp gate tech. And then here's the problem where I missed my run. I didn't have my guy here on hold so that he runs to try to get the probe, allowing him to escape. Which you're supposed to do is supposed to have your zealot in there, put him on hold, that way he won't move. So that does a couple things. If you're playing TVZ, it prevents zerglings from running in, and then if you've got something in your base, it prevents it from getting out, so when you get your first stalker out, you are able to kill it and make it dead. So now we can see he's throwing down a cannon here to prevent any sort of cannon rush shenanigans or Cananigans, as some people I like to say. Still Chrono boosting on the warp gate, throwing down two more gates. Take a look at the units tab. We both have two zealots out, and he has two more, three more probes out. Back to production. He's throwing down his Twilight Council again. Charge, or zealot leg speed as it's known. Still Chrono boosting on his warp gate research. I'm just finishing up my cyber core because I built the forge right after the gateway. Going for some gas, etc., etc., etc. Still got the pylon down here in the corner for a possible four gauge shenanigans. He is just building zealots. His warp gate is almost finished. Mine is just starting. So his four zealots here. He's got the Twilight Council with him to immediately go. Zealot in charge. Probe is that out as fast as possible. His four zealots are going to move out across the map. Maybe take a Zelnaga tower. I'm going for armor upgrades. Try to prevent him from killed as quickly. We'll see how that goes. Four lots. Coming across the screen. Not seeing a whole lot of anything. Gonna have two more join them. Check the units tab again. He's got six zealots. I have five. He's still ahead of me in pro by just a small margin. Now you see his four zealots just taking a look around. Six zealots taking a look around. Just decide to grab his secondary and throw the 
pile on down outside my base. My zealot here, I see that he's taken his secondary. And this poor guy is gonna almost get picked off. Unfortunately, leg speed is not finished just yet. So these zealots can't really catch up. They're gonna get close, take a couple swipes, but they're not gonna be able to catch him, so they break off their attack. Even more zealots chasing him. Just a map full of zealots. Nine zealots to six zealots. A couple pylons coming out here. Not really sure why I built so many pylons down. I think I was gonna try and cannon all of this in. But being defensive like that isn't the most effective thing. Now all of these zealots from the charge are going to come in and cause some problems. I wasn't even able to cancel this pylon. Oh well. Waste of 300 minerals. So make sure if you're going to move out, you've got the forces to back it up with. He doesn't even bother coming up the ramp. I mean, he's got 10 zealots here, which would probably be able to do some significant damage, but i got two cannons and seven zealots of my own here to keep an eye on things. So now, unfortunately, I'm supply blocked. And he's just going to take his zealots back. Down here in the corner, I warped in a bunch of stalkers. Secret pylon. I was able to do not really a whole lot of damage. He hadn't transferred any probes yet, so I wasn't really able to do a significant amount of damage to his economy. Had I waited for him to do his probe transfer like he did just there, I would have been able to take out a bunch of probes on that attack. I don't think I killed much of anything. Really, all I did was serve to distract him. I've got Zelda Lake Speed researching. He's researching around the one, throwing down another pair of gates. Uh, APM. Where's that army tab? I didn't kill any workers. So, what can you do? So now we see he's got his forge, he's kind of losing on upgrades, throwing down two more gates. He's only taking one gas, of course, for the upgrades and everything else. He's throwing down a photon cannon. I guess he's expecting me to go DTs, which probably wouldn't have been that bad. I mean, I guess if he'd gone DTs, I'm not sure if the rules allowed him to create observers. I don't think so. So if I'd gone DTs, I would have probably been able to wipe the floor with him, not realizing this until now, of course. I've taken my second base, I've moved down, I got a couple cannons, a couple sentries here working up energy. Of course, he's found Pylon. <laughs> Takes that out easily with his gaggle of zealots here. Huh, destructible rocks. So now we see him trying to take the Zelnaga Watchtower. He's already broken down the uh, rocks here at the gold and is taking his third. Check the units tab again. He's got 21 zealots with a charge against my. Not so many. Six zealots, five stalkers, and five sentries. So I guess the strategy would be to be able to wall in the zealots, maybe cut a chunk of them off with your sentries, split the army in half. Unfortunately, my wall skills are not that good. As we can see, he's getting almost an instant surround on anything with that zealot speed. I'm not taking too many losses. Check the units.